I snatched left just happened about half an hour ago at the path behind the supermarket over there. The victim, Mr. Ng, said that when he was on his way home, a dark skinned man approached him and snatched the money out of his front pocket. How much was stolen? $130, sir. Okay, thank you. Good afternoon, sir. I'm Senior Investigation Officer Ong Chun Bing. Can you tell me what happened? I walked past this man. Then he came back and snatched my money. What was he wearing? Dark shirt. Roughly how old? 50. Okay. Is there anything else you can remember, Mr. Ong? That is all that I can remember. All right, thank you, Mr. Ong. According to the victim, the theft took place right here. There's a camera at the back entrance of the supermarket. The culprit might have been caught on camera. And there should be pole cams at the lift lobbies too. He could have been loitering around the area before choosing his victim. Get all footages around the area around the time of the incident. Will do. Jason. Jumbing, look. Caught in the egg. Too bad. The image is not clear enough. It's hard to identify the culprit's face. Then, take a look at this. Same guy, taken from the pole cane at block 105, just before the crime was committed. He could be staying at the block. We need to ID him fast. I'll start from the top, you start from the bottom. If you find anything, call me. Okay. Hello, sir. I'm Investigation Officer Jason Yeo. Do you live in this block? Uh, yes. Do you recognize this man? Uh, no. I just moved in last month. I do not know many people. Okay, thank you. Good afternoon, ma'am. I'm Senior Investigation Officer Chun Bing. May I know how many people are living here? Me and my husband and two kids. How old is your husband? 65. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Uh, do you recognize this man? Mm, no. Okay, thank you. Okay, on my way. I found this salary statement. He belongs to Ramachandran Ganesagran. Do you think he's the guy we are looking for? Could be. If Ramachandran has been sleeping here, chances are the NPC officers would have come across him. Check his spot checklist for Red Hill and Henderson. You might get a match. to trace the name on the salary statement. This Roman Chandran Ganesarian has a history of criminal offences. Looks like the culprit. This makes him a prime suspect. Yes, and three days before the snatch theft occurred, MPC officers caught him sleeping at the fifth floor staircase landing on Block 78 Red Hill Lane. His registered address is in this route. But if he's a vagrant, he's probably not going to be there now. Let's head over to Greenhaven Landscaping first. Hello, sir. Hi. I'm Senior Investigation Officer Ong Chun Bing. 
Mm -hmm. May I ask you a few questions? Sure. Okay, this way, please. We're looking for Ramachandran Gana Sigrin. Ramachandran used to work here as a cleaner. When did he quit? He didn't quit. I had to fire him just last month. Why? He was often late or came to work smelling of beer. Sometimes, he just didn't bother to show up. He didn't even call to say that he's not coming to work. I really had no choice. Okay, thank you. Hello, sir. I'm Senior Investigation Officer Ong Chung Beng. Yes. We're looking for Rama Chanchang Ganda Segren. He was my previous co tenant, but Rama doesn't stay here anymore. What happened? We had a lot of arguments. He drinks a lot. In the end, he left. When was this? Um, two years ago. Did he mention where he was going? No. Do you know where he usually goes to drink? No idea. Okay, thank you. Hello? Yes? Okay, thanks. It's nice to have a block 102 has any question. Same as Steve. Be the same guy. Can you describe the necklace? It was a gold necklace. My daughter gave it to me for my birthday. This one, it has a symbol of a dragon on it. My mother was born in the year of the dragon. May I? Sure. Thank you. Mrs Lim, can you tell me more about what happened? I was coming back from the market, waiting for the lift. Then this man appeared. How does he look like? Uh, quite big size. Which floor, Auntie? 11. Thank you. Okay, Mrs. Lim, I'm going to show you some photos. Please see if you can identify him. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, this man, this man. Looks like he's targeting the elderly in the vulnerable. Those who can't fight back. Has he turned out his sleeping spot at Block 105? No. Check if you have chicken buddies around the area. They might know where he is. All right. I'll visit the pawn shops nearby. He stole money previously. Now, if he wants cash, he will have to pawn the necklace. Have you seen this man? Okay, thank you. Excuse me, ma'am. My investigation officer Jason Yeo. Have you seen this man? Okay, thank you. Hello, ma'am. I'm Senior Investigation Officer Ong Chun Beng. Have you seen this person? Yes, he was here earlier today. Dragon on it. This one? Yeah, that's the one. May I take a look at your transition records? Mm. 
So we got $530 for it? Yes, he asked for more, but that's the maximum price I could offer him. Did you know that the item was stolen? No, I didn't. Or else, I would never have accepted it. Okay, thank you ma'am. Excuse me sir. Our investigation officer Jason Yeo. Have you seen this man? Yes, that's Rama. He used to join me and my khakis at this coffee shop. The man drinks like a fish. But he's very friendly, always buying us beer. Meaning he paid for the drinks? Yes, all the time. I think he lost his job last month. I've not seen him since then. Have you ever called Rama to meet? No, I don't even have his number. Do you know where else he might hang out? I think he mentioned he also goes to Geelang to join his khakis there. Where exactly in Geelang? I'm not sure where though. Okay, thank you. Gentlemen, Ramachandran Gandhasegran has a criminal record. He's now preying on the elderly who are easy targets. In the last two days, he has struck twice in the Henderson vicinity and he's a vagrant with no known address. Our surveillance of his usual horn has turned out empty. But we have managed to track him down the Geelang. So today, we will be conducting a search of this area. Okay, Jen says the plan. Jason and Sean take this direction. Rido and Ilong take the opposite side. Me and Asha will take this sector. Let's move. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hi, good afternoon. I'm an investigation officer, Sean Tay from Clementi Police Division. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Have you seen this man? Hi, sir. I'm investigation officer, Asha. Have you seen this man? Good afternoon, ma'am. I'm senior investigation officer, Ong Chun Beng. May I check with you? Have you seen this man? Yes, I have seen him before. He comes here to drink. When was the last time you saw him? Just two days ago. Why? Is he in trouble? What else do you know about him? I just serve him drinks when he comes. That's all. Do you know his name? Rama or something like that. If you see Rama again or you hear news about him, please contact me. Is it okay? Okay, can. Thank you, ma'am. Have you seen this, man? I think that's the one. Chung Beng. Target spotted. Chung Beng. Target spotted. Heading towards Long 37. Over. Approach and apprehend the suspect. Proceeding from Long 39. Over. I'm not charging on Instagram. I'm sitting next to the officer. Stop moving! You're under arrest for snatch death. So why do you do it? Do what? I'm not We have footage of you snatching money from an elderly man on 23rd August. We also have evidence of you Pawning a stolen necklace on 24th August. Now tell me what happened, starting from the first offence. I saw an old man. Can I even walk properly? There was money in his front pocket. I know he sure cannot chase me. So I ran, took the money, and ran. Hey! What do you do with the money you stole? Drink. Spend on beer. Walk to work late, never mind. Drink, you cannot be late. Yes, 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 okay. And what happened after that? Money finished. I needed more money. So what do you do? 
I saw an old lady. Hello. Hey. And marketing? Yeah. There's so many things you buy. Wearing a gold chain. Really thick. Ah! So I thought, if I pawn, should I have a chance to get good money. Yeah. So you snatched the gold necklace and pawned it for $530? Yep. But we found $303 on you. What happened to the rest of the money? Drink. Ramachandran Ranasegaran was sentenced to nine years imprisonment for the offences he committed. Police cameras have been helpful in fighting crime. Since the implementation of police cameras in HDB blocks and multi-storey car parks in 2012, the police have solved more than 2,300 cases using information obtained from police camera video footages. To further enhance the safety and security of our neighbourhoods, the police have also expanded the network of cameras to public spaces such as town centres and linkways leading to transportation nodes. As of February 2018, more than 70,000 police cameras have been installed in neighbourhoods island-wide. In the case they've just seen, the suspect targeted the elderly and vulnerable. To avoid falling victim to such crime, the police would like to advise members of the public to adopt the following crime prevention measures. Always be alert and attentive to your surroundings. If you suspect that you are being followed or watched, remain calm and proceed to a crowded area or call the police to seek help. Avoid wearing excessive jewellery or being seen carrying large sums of cash. Should you be a victim of crime, do not resist. Remain calm and take note of the suspect's description. If the suspect flees in the vehicle, take note of the vehicle registration plate. Call the police immediately if you are a victim of crime. If you witness anything suspicious or illegal, call the police hotline at 1-800-255-0000. You can also submit information online via eyewitness at police.gov.sg forward slash eyewitness or through our police at SG application. All information will be kept strictly confidential. Scam alert. Lately, the police have been receiving reports of victims being cheated into providing their personal information and credit card details after they responded to phishing emails or SMSs. In 2017, the victims in these cases were cheated of more than $40,000. In the first three months of 2018 alone, more than $65,000 was cheated. This is significantly higher than the total amount cheated in 2017. In most cases, the victims were asked to reactivate their internet banking accounts or participate in customer satisfaction surveys. Once the victims provided their bank account details and keyed in their one-time passwords into the phishing websites, the scammers would use the information to make unauthorized transactions which were subsequently charged to the victim's credit card. To protect yourself against phishing scams, the police would like to advise members of the public to adopt these preventive measures. Be wary when you are asked to disclose your personal information and bank account details over the internet. Look for signs that you are using a legitimate or secure website. If the URL of the website begins with HTTPS instead of HTTP, it means the site is secured using an SSL certificate. SSL certificates secure all of your data as it is passed from your browser to the website's server. A closed padlock or unbroken key icon would also indicate a secure mode. It is important that you only transmit data over secured websites as they are encrypted and protected to prevent your details from being stolen by criminals. Finally, report any fraudulent charges detected in your credit card bills to your bank immediately. To seek scam-related advice, you may call the Anti-Scam Helpline at 1-800-722-6688 or go to scamalert.sg. We've come to the end of this episode of Crime Watch. If you have any feedback, do drop us an email. I'm DSP Zaya Luintun. Until next time, remember that you play a part in ensuring safety and security in your neighbourhood.